Mr. Apurva Devanath, congratulations on securing All India Rank 8 in the electronics paper. Again, All India Rank 8 in the instrumentation paper. Something interesting. All India Rank 8 in both papers. Uh, uh, Mr. Devanath, you have availed from S Academy the online test series for the gate examination as well as for the ESC uh, prelims also in the year 2024. Uh, congratulations to Devanath. You please tell us how this ES Academy online test series helped you in securing such Alina rank 8 in our gate examination. Uh, sir, I had uh, uh, enrolled for ES Academy uh, gate as well as ESC. And previously, I had also taken BARC online test series as well on ACE and okay. ACE uh, test series as well on ACE I've taken. So uh, ACE provides a pretty reliable test series with quality questions and that can replicate the exam scenario. So I would say in terms of reliability and the quality questions, it is uh, really great and it helped me a lot to gain confidence in exam scenarios. Okay, that's fine regarding the uh, quality of this questionnaire comes out. And what about this platform, the technical features? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it is an exact replica of the uh, gate interface for the exam calculator, as well as the uh, proceeding with the next, to the next questions as well. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Devnath, may I know uh, your college name and when did you pass out? Sir, uh, I come from Tripura. I did my 12th, uh, I did, I studied up to 12th in Tripura itself. And after that, I joined NIT Trichy in Electronics and Communication. I graduated in 2021. And after that, I joined Analog Devices as a design verification engineer through campus placements. And later on, I also worked at Qualcomm for a few months. And I, I left my job last year in uh, May in order to prepare for GATE and EAC and ESRO as well. Uh, interesting, Mr. Devanath. Actually, for electronic students, these unlocked devices, Qualcomm, they are the very good core companies, in fact. So yes. why you left those jobs? Why you wanted to take this GATE and uh, yeah, maybe you are preparing for the EAC also? Any reason for this, if you don't mind? Yeah, sure. Uh, so corporate was uh, always a temporary plan for me. I was planning to uh, do a job in corporate for around maximum two years to gain some professional experience and also to get some financial support. And uh, it was my plan that after some time, I'll leave my job and do something else. So with that okay. intention, I left my job last year. What, what is your final goal? Uh, right now, I'm mainly planning for scientist positions in ESRO, DID, or BARC. And I'll also simultaneously try for EAC as well. So that's right. my plan. Right. Right. With your academic background, with your dedication and hard work, certainly, you are the potential candidate to reach your uh, desired goal. And I wish you also that uh, you'll be highly successful in your attempts, right? Okay, uh, Mr. Devanath, yeah, uh, from this uh, successful journey, right, with the proven result of Anurag 8 in both ESC and instrumentation papers, you please tell for a fresher who is starting the preparation, let us say this year, so to crack this gate examination, how one has to schedule this uh, uh, mock test series examinations along with the preparation. Because, for example, if you see the mock test series of ACE Academy, we have a uh, topic based test, we have grand mm -hmm. test, we have full length mock test like that. So, along with the preparation, how the student has to schedule to have the effective advantage of the test series? Uh, I think uh, for a fresher starting uh, sub most of the subjects uh, from scratch, so it would be advisable to. Uh, first learn the basics of the subjects and uh, go through some uh, courses or lectures from anywhere, either YouTube or join some coaching. And uh, simultaneously, when one subject is finished, uh, one can attempt topic-wise tests or subject-wise tests to uh, have an idea of where he stands, where he or she might stand at that point. And uh, once most of the subjects are done, I, I, would I would recommend to start giving full syllabus tests as soon as possible so, and uh, analyze the tests and try to improve on the areas which are weak and just repeat this loop uh, until a certificate level is achieved. I think uh, when it has to student uh, schedule this so full length mock exam, probably in the last one month before the exam, right? Mm. The actual gate exam. Yes. So I, uh, I started uh, giving full length mock tests around uh, two or two and a half months uh, before the exam. So, so once the preparation is ready, I think you can go. Yeah. As, as it depends. Uh, as soon as the uh, candidate starts feeling comfortable in 
yes almost 70 80% of the syllabus it's better to start i think okay in our as online test series where you used to stand rank wise sir i uh, attempted uh, i am on only taking to talking about the full syllabus test so in the last 2 3 months i gave around 7 mock tests on as full syllabus tests and uh, in almost in five of those tests i was either ranked 2 or 3 and in the other two tests uh, ranked 7 and 8 so uh, performance was, it was satisfactory so you are uh, maintaining consistently the same yeah. uh, mock test rank itself you replicated again in the actual gate exam also yeah almost yeah, yeah. Uh, mr devnath uh, you see you belong to the electronics uh, branch of engineering and uh, you got the same alina rank 8 in electronics and instrumentation paper of course i know there are the subjects which are common between instrumentation yeah. and electronics paper did you prepare anything extra syllabus exclusively for the instrumentation paper uh, sir i i attempted instrumentation paper only as a backup and as a warm up for the uh, ec paper i did not take any test series for instrumentation so specifically for instrumentation i did not do anything but uh, since uh, i was preparing for ec as well and also isro so i had studied a bit of basics of measurements and instrumentation so that helped a little not i didn't help very much because i did not go through uh, in depth concepts just the basics that are required for ec so that probably helped a bit but uh, no nothing much specific for instrumentation i did good and there not one thing one more thing most of this uh, toppers of this gate exam es exam they maintain what you call some short notes and they are very what you call uh, yeah especially the short notes let us say and they plan a very what you call uh, Uh, systematic uh, revisions also so in your yes, case sir. how you used to revise the syllabus periodically right how to prepare any short notes as such sir uh, short notes i i would recommend uh, it is very important uh, uh, to make self notes because uh, we if you make self notes then you would get an idea of uh, what to study where to study specifically from so it gives a better idea but uh, in my case i did not have much time because i was preparing for three four exams uh, and i had only around 10 months so i did not make any self notes myself i only took digital pdfs from a uh, few educators like vishal soni sir and ankit goel sir which were available for free on tel on their telegram channels and uh, i used to uh, also take screenshots of certain important concepts that i felt was important and uh, used to name those screenshots appropriately so that i could search those in my laptop so i did not make any notes not, not even short notes or comprehensive notes i always prepared from uh, pdfs and screenshots only and for revision like uh, the pdfs that i took from uh, the certain educators uh, so those were usually comprehensive pdfs so for revision it is difficult to refer to so many pdfs in detail so i had uh, for revision i had another strategy i used to uh, delete the uh, unnecessary pages that would not be necessary for revision from those pdfs and uh, used to make a separate pdf compiled pdf of all the chapters together so uh, so that i could revise from that so i had i used to maintain two sets of pdfs one for comprehensive and another for revision so that way i did so everything was uh, digital notes only i did not make any self notes since uh, there was time constraint that good and uh, you must how you yeah, you might have used even this uh, pyqs of the yes get right yes yes i uh, i only mainly practice pyqs only i did not take any workbook because uh, i had to practice pyqs of isro as well and also gate uh ac pyqs also i started once but uh there was insufficient time for me to complete so many things so i mainly focused on uh, pyqs of isro for isro exam and gate for gates and uh, started giving test series as soon as possible i gave a lot of tests for isro also i uh, gave around 10 15 mock tests on ace also and uh, for gate i took around 18 to 19 mock tests on different platforms combined and for ac a few mock tests so it was my plan okay very good mr devnath see from this uh, successful journey right uh, can you please share a few more tips or suggestions for the aspirants of the gate exam now in my opinion sir uh, pyqs are the best source of questions that one can have that uh, are very relevant to gate exam and also the quality is also very good so it is mandatory to do as many pyqs as possible and if time permits then maybe some practice questions from uh, workbook as well from some coaching and uh, test series is of paramount importance for uh, any exam so it's better to give as much as as more as much tests as possible and uh, of various difficulty levels also so that because we don't know what we're going to get in the exam so we have to be prepared mentally for uh, 
uh, variety of uh, quality of the papers, difficulty levels. So, and that I would recommend. Right. Very good. Uh, very good, Mr. Devnath. So, Devnath, I once again congratulate you and uh, I wish you all grand success in all your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks for having me on your channel. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, sir.